give God thanks on this day that we gather to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. On this day when children come to church, amen, even though as adults we call it Resurrection Sunday, the children call it Easter, amen, and they come dressed as they have on this day in their beautiful clothes. We find it fitting, we find it appropriate that when we gather for worship in the midst of our worship service, that we lift up our children who have been given as gifts to the community and let God know that we are grateful for their presence among us on today. Amen. The gathering of the village is a time for us to transact business, transact culture, and to transform the thinking of a community, to transmit culture, and to transform the thinking of a community. So we gather on this day now to name and to christen and to dedicate this baby that God has blessed us with. We come to, to come to this church on this day, amen, asking this father on this day, what name shall you give to this child, sir? Would you state for the congregation the name that you would give to this child? His name shall be called Jeremiah Alexander Vincent, amen, a prophet in the making, called and ordained in his mother's womb, and we give God thanks praise for him. This child comes with the support of a village of people who have come to dedicate themselves to God and to ensure that he will lack no good thing as it relates to the spiritual, financial, and emotional well-being of his life. Is this the will of this congregation on the day? And you simply say, we will. His godparents understand that they are willing to accept their roles. They understand that in the event of the simultaneous deaths of this child's parents, that his godparents will step in and they will be role models, they will be spiritual mentors, they will be the ones who would nurture this child in the care and admonition of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. His extended family, amen, of uncle and aunts and cousins and the family around. We understand our role and we are willing to accept our roles as well. This child has come to be blessed by this community of people. Come to be blessed by this community of people, meaning first and foremost that he will receive meaningful touches from his village people, that we will touch him in meaningful ways, that we will teach him the difference between good touch and bad touch. Amen. Secondly, we come as a community of people committing that this child's heritage and his legacy will be declared to him from, before, from everyone in his village people. He will receive spoken words telling him how beautiful he is, reminding him of who he comes from, amen, who he be, uh, reminding him that he has a little bit of Trinidad heritage in him, a little bit of African heritage in him, amen, from Port of Spain and from San Fernando, Laro, Maine in Trinidad and Tobago. Amen. Thirdly, this child comes receiving on this day a commitment from us that we will express high value to his life. Amen. That we will tell him that he means a lot to us. We will say to him and nurture in him a sense that he is our best investment. Just like I've told my own child, she's my best investment. I invest in real estate, but that might come and go. Values might go up and down. But the value of children and what they mean to the village is so important to us. And so we want to express high value to him on this day. Fourthly, we teach that this child will receive from us and we will always point him to a specific future. We believe that he is destined for greatness. Amen. That his mind will develop and he will be bright and brilliant and be able to lead his people in places where his ancestors have never yet set their feet as well. Fifthly, we teach and believe and we come to commit today that this child will have his financial and emotional needs provided for, provided for by both sides of his family. He will have an active commitment from us as a community of faith and from his extended family. And so we come on this day to give God thanks and to give God praise for his life and for his presence among us on today.
grateful that you've given to us a special gift. Grateful for this man and child in our midst. Grateful for this little boy who will grow up into a great man. Grateful, oh God, that you have called him and consecrated him even from his mother's womb. Grateful, oh God, that you have blessed him already with good health and with good strength. And so, God, recognizing your great gift to us, we come as a people on this day to offer him back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. And so, God, on this day, we anoint this child from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Do it in the name of the Father. Do it in the name of the Son. We do it in the name of the Holy Ghost of God. And we ask that God that you might bless him. So God, we offer it up to you, the listener. Asking, oh God, for your kind and rich blessing upon his life. Asking you to bless him in his going out and in his coming in, in his lying down and in his rising up. Bless him in the city and bless him in the fields. Bless him, oh God, so that he might be a leader of God's people wherever he shall go. Bless him, oh God, to be aware of his environment. Bless him, oh God, for him to understand what it means to be black in this country. Bless him, O oh God, so that he might be a man who is aware of his culture in the name of Jesus. Bless him, O oh God, so that he might understand what it means for him to be a child of the living God. And so, God, we ask that you might move by your spirit and by your power, and that you would consecrate Jeremiah, Alexander, Vincent, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost of the living God. God, we bind the hand of the enemy, O oh God, that may cease to, ah, to frustrate this man's future right now. God, we come as a people with generous faith, and we bind the hand of the enemy, cancel the assignment of the enemy for this child's life. We pray, God, that you might grant him, O oh God, the blessed privilege of living out the script that you have already ordained for his life, and that we might move by your spirit and by your power, and bless him beyond his father's imagination. We pray, God, that he might never Good night. 
life is sweet. Life has some sweet moments as well. Amen. We pray that God might grant him love in his life. Laughter in his life. Because laughter is like medicine to our bones. We pray that God might bless this child. But, it's, but, but we, give, we will give him today oil as a symbol of our healing and our hope. And whenever he gets sick, he knows that he serves a God who is a healing God. Amen. And his parents will understand that before they take him to the hospital, they ought to take him to the Lord in prayer. Amen. Take him first to Jesus in prayer. And we give God thanks and we give God praise. And then his God mama is going to make sure that he has a bracelet. Amen. A circular bracelet as a commitment of this family's continuous love and support for this time. May God bless you, little Jeremiah Alexander Vincent. And may God keep you all the days of your life. Come on, put your hands together and give God a good day.